Hi, I'm Allison Nemec. I'm a principal project architect with Quorum Architects, uh, who resides in the uh, Frederick Pabst Jr. Mansion on Highland Boulevard. Uh, we purchased that property in 2001, and um, in 2003, we had it as part of the historic Concordia Tour of Homes. Um, at that time, my former neighbor, um, my future neighbor, uh, who lived in that home there, uh, approached us and said that this home was for sale. He came up to me at the home tour party and said, hey, you're an architect, I bet you'd like a Prairie Foursquare. Um, couple fireplaces, needs a lot of work, but I think you can handle it. So that night we came and toured this home and uh, we put in an offer to the fraternity organization and purchased Animal House. And over the last two years, 20 years, almost 20 years, we've been uh, transforming it into our home. So welcome. What originally drew, drew us to the house was the Prairie Foursquare layout and how um, all of the woodwork and um, basic components of the home were still intact, uh, despite many, many years as serving as a fraternity house. Um, and we've spent the last 20 years putting together uh, a lot of the details that were missing, that there were cues from what did remain. Uh, for example, this was the Marquette um, fraternity um, pool room, not a dining room at the time. So imagine instead of a dining room table, a pool table and a pool lamp um, over my shoulder here. Um, and all of this wainscot had been removed but there was scars on the remaining uh, pieces of wood, both the china cabinets and the, and the um, buffet that um, were remaining that showed exactly where those, um, those, those, that trim had been. So we recreated it. Um, also the architect, um, Beming, had done numerous homes, um, not only in this neighborhood, but throughout Milwaukee. Um, and we were fortunate enough to be able to get into a couple of them that were sort of sister homes to this home um, and study how he had detailed dining rooms in those other homes. Um, what we loved about the home was um, that it was sturdy. Uh, we had boys that were three and five at the time when we moved in. Um, and we knew that if it had made it through several fraternity houses, that it would probably make it through our boys as well. What we really love about the house is that we use every room in the house, um, from the porch in the backyard in the summer to the game room downstairs for movies and sporting events, um, and the living room fireplace room, the dining room, and obviously the kitchen. We, like everybody else, everyone, when you entertain, ends up in the kitchen. So it's now a very welcoming space. Um, it wasn't so much when we first purchased. Um, the only cabinet that we had was a sink cabinet along here, um, and then we had a range and a refrigerator, and that was all that was in the kitchen. No other cabinets. Um, and there was a, a servant stair that wound up um, downsizing the kitchen um, almost to the edge of the island where the island is now. Uh, that we looked at how we could keep it there because it was kind of a fun, unique feature that we knew uh, the boys would love um, to run up and down one set of stairs and down another. Uh, but we really couldn't come up with a, a workable layout for the kitchen and leaving that intact. So we bumped out the wall of the kitchen um, and encompassed uh, that into the kitchen space and then wrapped the counters and the cabinets around the window wall and change the circulation in the pantry to also replace all of the cabinets in that room with basically just standard cabinets um, with cherry frames and, um, you know, but the hardware was kind of, I think, what makes the, the, the kitchen feel like it's from the period. Um, we, were, we were really just fortunate to source those from Pottery Barn at the time. It was just this aha moment. And that's kind of the way a lot of things happen around here in Concordia. There's so many people that are doing the same things, um, rehabbing, refurbishing, um, and we, we help each other out and we tell people where we get things, how we source things, and we help each other through these remodeling projects. 
good example of this is our one cabinet that we had, which was a farm sink um, along this wall here. Uh, we ended up uh, offering to, to give to whoever would take it out, <laughs> help take it out. Um, and the folks that took it out um, were owned a bed and breakfast over on Wells Street. And um, that, that sink uh, cabinet has been totally refurbished. It's beautiful and it's um, in the, the bed and breakfast on Wells Street. This may be our favorite room in the house. It was the fraternity party room um, and it is still our party room. Uh, we watch a lot of movies, games, soccer, football, baseball, basketball down here. Uh, the boys are now grown to young men. Say hi, Will and Jake. <laughs> and that's Wesley. <laughs> uh, we spend a lot of time down here eating dinners together, uh, watching games, uh, playing games. Um, and just enjoying the heck out of the space.